Hey friends, it's Monica Schrader from the SchraderPage.com and the Schrader Page blog. I wanted to take a minute and walk you through my Let's Learn All About Spiders unit. I actually have been using this in my class um, all of last week and this week. Um, in this file, you'll get around 48 pages of different um, activities and lessons. Um, I'll walk you through how I set up my room. There's a spider KWL and vocabulary for your students to use. Um, a spider web bubble map, shot right through that fast. There's a couple different spider centers that I've used in the past. You'll go through the life cycle of a spider. You'll also enjoy a meal like a spider where you're using a Capri Sun and then you're using the straw to poke a hole like a fang and then drink the liquid insect out. You'll also have a quick writing sheet about it. There's a spider anticipation guide for spiders by Gil Gibbons. And then an, also a spider's graphic organizer can, are, and have. You'll find vocabulary boxes for buddy readers, um, spiders by Gail Gibbons again. And then also your spider fact roll report. My kiddos had tons of fun filling this in and then rolling and sharing the facts with each other. And then um, our spider report. There's a section for the table of contents, the research and then also the writing sheets. And I copy um, a few of those writing sheets per person, and then they end with fun facts about spiders. They can also do a diagram. I also like to do just some real fun spider fact sheets with my students. We worked on similes as well. And then there's a spider fact and opinion page. Uh, this week I also worked with my students on writing leads into stories, so we used the spider journal prompts packet. I went ahead and combined all of the sheets together, and we chose a prompt, and then we worked on using a grabber to um, write a lead for a story. So spiders can climb, spiders, spiders are amazing creatures, my pet spider, and whatnot. So it was kind of a fun way for them to really practice just writing leads. And not having to write a whole story really took the pressure off them. So I got some really great writing from them. Um, they all love the My Spider Shape poems. In fact, many of them have come up and asked if they could share them to me or with the class. Webology was very fun. Um, that's when you talk about why spiders don't stick to their webs. You put a little piece of tape down and then the students walk across so they can feel the stickiness. And then when they use the cooking oil on their fingers, they don't stick. So that's why spiders have um, oil on their skin so they don't um, stick to their own webs. And my students also went home and um, taught their families about this activity with the Be the Teacher. And then there were just some card prompts to go with it. We always do a making words activity. I really like how it's set up um, one letter, two letter, three letter, all the way up to six because it really challenges them to manipulate the letters in the word arachnids. We also went through and worked on labeling a spider and the body parts. There's a couple different spider poems, and we used a lot of those with our fluency activities and our fluency centers this week. And we're also working on contractions for our spelling words, so the spider poem um, sung to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot worked really great for us. I always add an acrostic poem. I think it's a great way for students to organize the information that they've learned about spiders. And then we ended our unit with a fiction story, Diary of a Spider. And we did some pre-reading. We have some vocabulary that go along with the story. My students wrote a postcard to fly talking about the happy, the secret to a happy human life, which is referred to the happy spider life in the Diary of a Spider. And there's your template for the postcard. And we did some think about activities afterwards if my students really thought that flies and spiders could be friends. And we also practiced summarizing the story with someone, someone wanted, but, and so. They compared um, flies and spiders with the Diary of a Spider. And then we ended with a book recommendation sheet, whether they would recommend that book or not. Um, we had tons of fun with this, uh, this activity or this whole unit. In fact, one of the other things we did was we put together um, a large spider web in the classroom with just a ball of black yarn and we went through and shared all of our different spider facts that we knew and then when we were finished um, we had a huge spider web on the floor and then we um, 
started talking about the different vibrations that happen with the spider web. And my students kind of closed their eyes, and then I threw rubber insects into the web so that they could sense the vibrations. Um, be sure to check out the rest of um, my blog post after you watch this video, because it's really going to show you a great activity that we did um, about the life cycle of a spider, and how my students really had to problem solve taking what they knew from the books that we had read and the video clips that we had seen and then take that information and put it into practice when they created their life cycles.